Well, we're down on the river early in the morning. There's no sun in the canyon yet. So temperature's perfect for hiking. And I thought I'd stop and uh, let you know what was going on. Not that I needed a break or anything. Uh, the plan today is uh, the section of the river upstream that hopefully is gonna be good to us if I can get there. Uh, the water's way too high to do any mining in the river. So the plan today is we're going to have high water and probably going to have high water for, you know, another month. So I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to, to uh, show you how to find some gold with high water. Now, we're not going to find any nuggets or anything like that, but we should be able to take home some nice flood gold. At least that's what we're shooting for. I'm up. Head on up and uh, hopefully get set up up there and uh, see if we can find some gold. Okay, well we made it in and uh, sound might be an issue here because this creek is loud. So hopefully you're going to be able to hear me over the, the creek. But we have this spot right in here and I'll, I'll show you that in a second. But uh, basically we got us like a little bench right here that we're, we're going to try to work. Now I'll spin that camera around here and uh, give you a better shot of the area. Okay, you can see here this river's running pretty good. Now the river's making a, a bend. We're on the inside of the turn. And you can see right through here we got some humongous boulders. Right there's my pack. Give you an idea of the size of these boulders. Now, these boulders, the big ones, are lining up right on the edge of the main flow. Now, normally, we'd be on this side over here looking for the, the gold. This is where our large gold would be. But, you know, too much water, so we're going to be over on this side. You can see where the smaller boulders are lining up through here. This is where we're going to be looking in this area. Now, one thing you want to pay attention to make sure that there's no driftwood uh, piled up in the area you're looking because if there's driftwood then that means the, the, there's, the flow is slowed down too much. And another thing you want to look for is sand. You, don't, you really don't want to be in where there's sand. Uh, you know, little pockets is fine, but areas where there's large buildup of sand, you don't want to be looking in that area either. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go right up through here and see if we can find any bedrock or anything that'll, that'll catch some gold. Okay, let's go up and take a look to you. Okay, we've got a scenario right here that, that looks pretty good to me. We got some big boulders. We got huge boulders right here. The, the large gravels lined up right here. Here's our secondary gravel coming right through here. We have bedrock right there. Um, all this gravel is, is nice heavy gravel. Um, there's, there's no sand in here. There's just nice, good looking gravel. Um, you'll notice there's no vegetation in this area. Um, you want to stay, you know, hopefully towards the river from the vegetation. Unless, like, uh, you got a situation right here where you have a tree and you can look at that tree and tell it's just beat to death. So you know you still have a substantial flow going through here and you need that substantial flow to bring the gold in. Um, if you get where you have uh, shrubs and trees that, that aren't beat up, they're in a back eddy. Um, there's going to be no gold there. It's going to drop out earlier. So I'm going to get set up and uh, do a little digging in here and uh, see what we can find. I got a, got a spot here. This, is, this right here is bedrock. And we have a little crack coming here, a little crack coming here. And it looked like it continues into this low spot. 
So what we're going to do is try to follow these cracks. We're working this low spot right here. And also right here we have a, a chunk of bedrock that can block the flow. And back in that corner could be a, a good spot. So uh, we'll dig this out and take a look. Now one thing you want to pay attention to is you want to make sure your rocks are really jammed in here. If you can just throw them out of the way, then that means the gravel's too light. Now these rocks are packed pretty good. Now when you're uh, up high, to find gold, you're going to have to move a lot of gravel, so I bring the 14 inch pan. Now all these larger rocks, you can just toss them out of the way. And I, I like to take just everything off the surface. It's easy to get to and get it out of the way. Now, when we're up high like this, we can have gold anywhere in our gravel. So we have to be pretty selective on what we throw away. Now, what I like to do is just take the big stuff, work it around a little bit. Now this stuff here, you can see it's got mud attached to it. So we gotta wash that. But the stuff that doesn't, we can just toss. And then I like to throw my gravel up on the bedrock so if I decide to move somewhere else, you don't have to move it again. You get it up on a spot where you're not going to go and then you don't have to worry about moving it twice. Now I'm just going to pull some of this gravel in and our first pan is pretty much just experimental. We want to take it down, make sure we're getting black sand. Okay, good enough for the first pan. Let's run down and see what's in it. Okay, well we got that first pan worked out. and As expected, we didn't find any gold in it, but uh, there's a lot of black sand, which is a really good sign. Uh, now we can get serious about digging down and uh, trying to get to that little crevice and see if we can get some gold out of there. Now, uh, let me show you what we got here for black sand. Now, you can see right in here, there's quite a bit of black sand for that, that one pan full. Okay, well, let's get back to work. Now, you can, you can see here our crack is coming along and now it's dropping into a nice hole. Um, this is look, starting to look real good. Now I'm going to take our trusty crevice tool that we made uh, in the last video and give it a go. We'll dig some of this gravel out of here. I didn't get a chance to put the, uh, the handle on it yet. But we'll dig this out. Take this down and pan it. Now this pan should have some gold in it. Well, we just finished our second pan, and we did find a little bit of gold. Nothing to write home about, but uh, we still got a ways to go on this hole, so uh, I'm kind of enthused. Starting to warm up now. Uh, another half hour, hour, the sun's going to be on me, and I'm sure it's going to get hot. Um, not a bad thing, because that water is cold. I can hardly keep my hands in it to pan. Well, let me show you here what we got so far. Get this uh, I'm 
And I, well, that showing up, you can see you got a little bit of gold right here. There was like, I don't know, one nice flake and a half a dozen little tiny ones. Okay, well, I'm gonna pick this up with the snuffer bottle and uh, get down to some serious digging. There's gold down there. Okay, well, we're getting this quite a hole dug down here, and we're starting to find a little more gold. Uh, I've been finding quite a few pieces of old iron, old nails and stuff, which is a really good sign. Um, I want to show you what I just got out of that last pan. I'll get this cleaned up a little bit here. here we got some nice pieces in here. It's really hard for me to see if I'm getting that on the bright sun. I can't see the uh, screen on the camera. Okay, well, we're starting to find some gold. Um, nothing big, but then, you know, like I say, we're not, we're not going to find anything big up this high. Um, well, I think I'm going to clean this up, pick it up with a stuffer bottle, and then I'm going to break for lunch, and I'm going to dig down that hole, find some more gold. I'll give you a shot here of our hole. We're down here quite a ways. And right in this area where we've been finding the gold. So I'm going to dig down over in here a little more. We don't have a lot of time left. But we'll take a look, see if, see if we can find a little bit more before we got to get out of here. Okay, there's a couple of things I want to show you here. Um, I don't know how well this is going to show it because I'm filming in the shade because it's just getting too doggone hot. But this is some of the iron that uh, dug out of that uh, hole. And you know, this, is, this stuff's been down there for a long time. So this is a, a good sign that we're in the right spot. Anytime you're digging up iron, lead, things like that, you know you're in the right spot. And then the other thing I wanted to show you here, and I'm not sure how well this is going to show it, but uh, the, um, this is pretty much an average rock from around here, and this is out of the hole we were digging. Now, if you look at these two rocks, this rock here is much heavier, and it's got a bit of a shine to it. This rock here is uh, um, kind of dull. It's, it's more porous, it's not quite as heavy. So, you know, if you're finding these, these darker rocks, they've got a, a shiny surface on them, you know this is a heavier gravel. And if you're finding the heavier gravel, you're in the right spot. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today because uh, it's already getting hot and i got a heck of a hike to get out of here. So we're going to pack everything up and uh, head back up to the truck and then uh, when we get back to the house I'll clean that gold up and weigh it and just see how we did today. Okay, let's go for the truck. Well, back at the house and to be honest with you, got home, I was hot, tired, had a cold beer and fell asleep and uh, it's now two days later. So, got that gold cleaned up and I'll show you that right now. Okay, you can see here we got not a lot of gold, but we got some nice gold. Okay, I'm going to throw this on the scale. Okay, we got a scale set up here. Let's uh, get a tear on our tray. Well, looks like we ended up with 0.57 grams. Or 0.36 pennyweight. Third of a pennyweight. Well, a third of a pennyweight, that's pretty darn good for water as high as it is. And 
And about that water, water being high like it is, it's running hard, it's running cold. Um, give it the respect it deserves. Um, no, no reason to take any chances this early in the season. Now that I'm done sounding like your mother, um, weather's warmed up. Uh, we should be able to get out and do a lot more videos. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll get notification when I get another video done. And hopefully I got plans of doing some pretty cool videos coming up. Well, until then, you have a wonderful day.